The Minister of Health. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And, Mr. Speaker, this is a good news announcement. Uh, again, part of the uh, plan for allowing people to have better access to mental health and addiction services. This uh, Centre of Excellence for Youth is going to be an uh, added piece of the puzzle to, again, uh, have two sections of the province covered that will be serving the north and the south. And, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, myself, along with a number of my colleagues, went to the site and uh, we took a picture, so the shovels aren't in the ground just yet, but uh, the, uh, the construction is due to start next year, and the opening of that centre will be up and running uh, within a couple of years after that. So it's good news, and I appreciate the uh, member opposite highlighting that here today in the last question period of the, of the session. The Minister of Health. Well, Mr. Speaker, here again we've got the opposition uh, saying two things. One is that they want additional services, and now, two, they're complaining about the cost. Mr. Speaker, we as a government are willing to invest in the people in the province of New Brunswick. We're willing to invest in the bricks and mortar to make sure that people reach the service. And you know, Mr. Speaker, I, I, it, it is a challenge when you're here trying to tell uh, folks how much you respect them and how much you appreciate them. And I do want to take this moment to say how much this government respects all the people in the health care working, uh, especially those that are going to be working over the Christmas holidays. We really do appreciate that. And again, Mr. Speaker, the numbers that the member quotes, again, we are willing to invest in health care and we are willing to make sure that those investments have a good return for the people that need the services when they need them. Thank you very much. Minister of Health. Mr. Speaker, I think I was pretty clear in the answers that I gave earlier that the design work will start in 2023 and that the uh, project will hopefully be completed by 2026. And uh, as mentioned earlier, the cost is about $29.4 million. And this is an investment in the youth of our, our, the youth of our, our <laughs> province, Mr. Speaker. And that program, that, that facility will be uh, for youth aged 12 to 18. And this, again, having the two centres of excellence in the province will make sure that there's services in the north, services in the south, and again, it will be uh, easier to attract <coughs> employees at, at two smaller uh, locations as opposed to one larger one. Mr. Speaker, this is, again, part of our, our health plan that's working, our health plan that's moving forward, and again, making the investments that are needed to be made for mental health and addictions and for youth needing uh, treatment that's good government. That's making progress.